two 175 amp fuse links. We're going to run those in parallel. That doubles the amps. To Are you recording? Yeah. So we're going to double the amps to 350 volts. 50 amps. So right here we're going to uh, take a larger nut and we're going to put it in between both of the connectors. And then we're going to take a bolt, put it right in between both of those. And now on that bolt, we're just going to connect this right here directly. And since we connected it directly right there, tighten it down and then you're solid so now we got this this needs to be on the box the the positive connection side of the uh, batteries so since we got the positive connection side of the batteries we can't use the available space on the battery terminal so we're going to put our uh, battery terminal leads inside of it so we can tighten down on the terminal leads and that'll give us this 175 amps times two running across of it disconnect power again and then these two wires are going to be run well I think she's inside of here Put one on one side, like so. Any washers? What do you need? Hey everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project and Philip from Solar Power, Electricity and Electronics. Alright. Well, our time together has come to a close. Uh, we had some good times, some good food. Melanie, oh, absolutely. Melanie's a good cook. Amazing cook. <laughs> Not a good cook, an amazing cook. Oh, yes. And uh, we got a lot done. Go on and check out his channel to see what the work he did here will be on his channel. I was running around in the inside of the house, gutting the wiring. I didn't do much video today because I was pretty much just supporting Philip and Melanie and Chris and whoever as needed. Mm -hmm. uh, and milking goats and whatever, but it was it was all Philip here. So oh, um, everybody helped. Yeah, well, everybody was running around. It was a busy yes, busy sir. time. Well, 
We do what we can as fast as we can. Yep. I, I try to get as much video as I could, uh, you know, and uh, if I would have done a lot more, we'd have got a lot less done. But yeah, that's true, yeah. We did get a lot done, and I feel like uh, you're going to be able to run into the night with uh, uploading that. So maybe you can get we'll more videos we'll proceeding. Goes, I yeah. haven't been able to test it, but I'm sure that you're going to be able to move further with it. We were in float mode today. Yeah, all at, day. What time was that? It, it was, was 11 o'clock. Was it 11? No. Yes, sir. We were in float at 11? Yes, sir. We was in float at 11, but we didn't have a load on nothing. Well, that's yet. true. There was no load. And I, I haven't ever seen that. Like, at 11 o'clock in the morning in float mode. But again, we didn't have any power uh, being drawn out of the house at all at that time. Yeah, but. last night or today. but And it was very cloudy at the same time on that. Actually, last night I did use some power after you left. Really? Yeah, well, that's good. I used some power. But, um, it was, yeah, and it was cloudy today. Yeah. I was quite surprised that we hit float mode. So, I, I think I have a lot of potential energy now. Mm -hmm. um, everything's nice and neat. And I've learned a lot about my Renogy. Uh, Philip knows the Renogy very well. He's taught me a lot about the Renogy charge controller. Yeah, I've, I've been running off of those for a long time, for about four years, before I even started doing videos. And uh, I noticed that they've been killing my battery water. They, because the uh, float voltage never actually happens. It's always a very high voltage. Uh, it's too high for standard batteries. Uh, the T105 batteries that Troy has has a float voltage of 13.5 volts, yeah. and it's always at 13.7, and yeah. it doesn't allow the uh, TriStar controller right. to <laughs> stop. Uh, well, it doesn't allow it to do its job. Yeah, so the normally it would allow, uh, your tr TriStar would stop when the other ones continue, but whenever you put a load on it, which there's small, uh, small charge controllers, so, you know, when you put a load on the system, mm -hmm you'll immediately take it back out of that uh, float mode with those other two charge controllers and then your big inverter is going to catch up real quick. Yeah. Uh, not inverter, but charge controllers. So right. The there's a, a lot of stuff involved what we did. So. Yeah. Uh, right. It's been a real pleasure being here. I love the outdoors. I've always enjoyed it. I love going hiking. And this has been an amazing pleasure. No, I really you. appreciate it, Troy. Thank you. So... Thank you, and come check out the channel if you like it, and I hope, you know, we get to meet uh, soon again, bud. Yeah, you're not too far away as far as things go, so maybe yeah, one day we'll My wife see. loves to travel, yeah. um, so whenever we go on a vacation, we come out this way, we'll stop on by. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for everything. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, I'm sure everybody will agree, it looks amazing in there, and uh, I still got to run the AC wiring finish that up tonight but uh, we got uh, the wires are clean and ready to roll so we get up there and get to work yeah you'll be able to uh, do a lot more with a lot less power yeah which is very important yeah and I won't have to stress about that inverter at night that was a big one I couldn't keep the big one on at night yeah. well I let I let that one run day in day out with those really old advanced auto parts mm -hmm. cars cheapest battery they had that was for uh, deep cycle and it would always be charged yeah uh, and I wasn't never having a problem unless I was doing more than their capacity mm -hmm. um, which you know it, in any case it's a very good setup now that you're going to be running five to six watts mm -hmm. just for being on versus a hundred or yeah. fifty. Or, Big difference. You know, whenever they heat up, they give you know. Oh, those fans up. kick in hard. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that yep. one is going to do a lot better for you. And I want to say thank you to, you know, let me come. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I mean, it was it was good having you here. Mm -hmm. uh, our wives had a great time together. Absolutely. So <laughs> it was really good to have you here. Yeah. And uh, just everybody have a good day. Yeah. And well, thank you. Thank you, Troy. Check out his channel, uh, Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. That's correct. Talk to you later.